This is the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, keeping you informed about the happenings in Annapolis and the area. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and of course, local weather. The Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Friday, May 10th, 2019. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Hey, listen up. If you've got a Maryland driver's license, particularly one of the brand new ones with the star on it that was supposed to be compliant, you better double check to make sure you are indeed compliant because starting June 1st, the MVA is going to start recalling more than 60,000 driver's license. Now, the people that are effective supposedly have been contacted by the MVA three separate times since last December via email. So you may want to check your spam folders. And the recall of the driver's license is actually going to make the physical card invalid. And if you're pulled over by a police officer, you would likely have your driver's license confiscated. Now, I received my compliant license several years ago when the new licenses came out, and I questioned why they were not compliant as they initially said they were. And the answer that we got was Maryland began issuing the real ID licenses and ID cards in 2009 under the Homeland Security Directive. However, in October of 2017, Homeland Security informed Maryland that all their customers with driver's license identification cards containing Real ID Star must have the documents physically on file with the M.MBA. MBA. And when I say physically, that is scanned. So they will scan your documents when you go there. As a result, some people have the newly designed driver's license or ID card, but still need to bring in the documents to become compliant and prove who they are. If you're not sure whether you are or you aren't, the easiest way to do is to check it out online. You can go to mva.maryland.gov slash real ID lookup. Check it out. You put your driver's license number in there. It will tell you exactly what you need to do. If you do need to get your documents, you do need to get them in before June 1st. And I do recommend that you make an appointment to do that because the wait times have been in excess of five hours at some points. Anne Arundel County Fire officials are investigating a fire death yesterday. Yesterday afternoon at about 4 p.m., they were called to the 1800 block of Ralston Place, and it was actually dispatched as a hoarder. When the department arrived, the fire was out. However, they did find a deceased woman in the residence. The department is not sure of the cause yet, and investigators are investigating that. An Odenton teenager was indicted on rape charges after police said he abused a 7-year-old girl multiple times over several years. The 17-year-old was indicted by the grand jury for three counts of second-degree rape, four counts of second-degree assault, two counts of conducting an unnatural or perverted practice, and one count of sex offense in the third degree. He is being held without bail. The backstory is that on April 11th, a man went to the police department's Western District Station to tell them that his 8-year-old daughter had been raped by a 17-year-old boy. After an investigation, the young girl told social service workers that the teen had asked her to perform sexual acts in her home, in the teen's home, and that it had been going on for several years. The victim's brother also confirmed to social service workers that he witnessed at least five times where his sister and the teen had been together in a basement closet. It is likely that this will get bounced down to juvenile court, and we will be following up on this one for sure. Maryland Governor Larry Hogan is enjoying, he is basking, he is embracing his 76% approval rate. But the GOP in Maryland seems to love President Trump a little bit more. In a new Gonzalez, Maryland poll, if Hogan faced off next year against President Trump, he would win just 24% of the state's GOP primary. Trump would capture 68% of the Republican voters in Maryland. Now, the Gonzalez poll polled 826 registered voters statewide, both on landlines and cell phones, and the Republican portion of the poll was 203 voters with a margin of error of 7 percentage points. And in the latest installment of Musical Chairs in the Annapolis City Office of Law, if you will remember Linda Schuett, who was hired as the acting city attorney, she lasted six weeks before she quit. Um, Apparently now she's going to be serving as the legal advisor to the Anne Arundel County Council. Schuett was Anne Arundel County's attorney from 1999 to 2006. She was initially hired by Democrat County Executive Janet Owens. She left when Republican John Leopold took office, who was succeeded by Republican Laura Newman, who was succeeded by Republican Steve Shu. She entered the city for Democratic Mayor Gavin Buckley, left after six weeks, and now she is working for Democrat Stuart Pittman for a Democrat County Council. It seems to me like Ms. Schuett is a Democratic kind of a lawyer. 
Okay, that does it for the top news today. Please make sure you're checking out that top link in our show notes because it gives you all the different ways that you can connect with us. You want to give us a recommendation or a review anywhere you can do that and recommend us to your friends and colleagues. It is Friday. We've got our list of things to do this weekend. We, of course, have George Young with your local DMV weather forecast, but also on Saturday, make sure you check out our Legacy Business Series, which has been going on for about three weeks now. A lot of fun. Get to know some of your local businesses up this week, Third Eye Comics and Third Eye Games and Hobbies. All right, that is it. Hang tight. I've got a quick message about Mac Medics in Severna Park and then George Young. Have you ever been to the Annapolis Mall when it opens for the day? Maybe you've noticed the line of folks waiting to get into the Apple Store. As you may know, I'm a Mac user, and today's episode of the Daily News Brief, in fact, all of the episodes of the Daily News Brief, have been produced right here on my Mac computer. What you might not know about is Mac Medics. They were founded here in Annapolis in 1989, and they are an Apple-authorized premium service provider, the only one in the Baltimore-Annapolis, D.C. area. And what that means to you is that they repair all Apple devices, including the iPhone screens and batteries, all without an appointment. And most repairs are done the same day, usually within two hours. They also sell everything except the iPhone and the watch for the same price as Apple. I don't know why you would go anywhere else. Give them a call at 410-757-MACS, or if you're not into the whole letter thing, 410-757-6227. Stop by their retail store in Severna Park on Benfield Road, or their service center in Lanham, right off of Route 50. Or you can always check them out online at macmedics.com. I'll tell you, they've saved me quite a few times, and I know they can save you. Going out? You need the most up-to-date local weather. Here's George Young from DMV Weather in Annapolis with today's forecast. Hey everyone, this is George with DMV Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Friday, May 10th. Another wet Friday on tap for Annapolis and all of Anne Arundel County as a storm system in the deep south moves toward the region from the southwest, bringing showers and possibly some thunderstorms with it as highs end up in the upper 70s to lower 80s today. And for the third weekend in a row, we'll likely see more rain from late Saturday into Sunday as that storm system moves into and through the region, potentially bringing a three-day rain total of two inches or more in some spots, especially where heavier thunderstorms might occur. And the expectation is for highs on Saturday to be in the 67 to 72 degree range, while only in the 60 to 65 degree range with clouds and rain likely on Sunday for Mother's Day. But don't let that stop you from getting out and about to celebrate all of the moms in your life that help make every day a good day to celebrate being in the mix in Annapolis and beyond. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DMV Weather. Make it a great weekend out there despite yet more weekend rain. And be sure to get our free app on all of your devices by searching for DCMDVA Weather in the Apple or Google App Stores. And also follow us on Facebook and Twitter and on our website at dmvweather.com so you can always stay weather-informed this Mother's Day and beyond. This is Sarah Koenig, host of the Serial Podcast. I'm coming to Annapolis, to Maryland Hall, on Friday, May 17th, for an onstage conversation about how we created Serial, how we make stories, well, how we make them good, and why they matter. I hope you'll come. For tickets, go to marylandhall.org. Every weekend, there's something exciting going on in the Annapolis area. Be sure to visit iAnnapolis.net to sign up for a newsletter highlighting all the weekend events. Here are our top picks for this weekend. Friday. Thank God it's Friday. It's a busy weekend here in Annapolis. It's a busy Mother's Day weekend in Annapolis, and it kicks off tonight at Caliente on Bay Ridge Road with Grupo Algodon, a celebration in honor of your mother. Gets underway at 9 p.m., goes till 1.30. This is a very special group they brought in. Will be an awful lot of fun with great Latin flavor, both in the music as well as the food. Caliente Grill gets underway at 9 p.m., and you can find out more information by giving them a call. And actually, it does need tickets, so you can give them a call at 410-626-1444. Tomorrow from 9 to noon at Brooklyn Park Middle School, at the Odenton Shopping Center, at the Anne Arundel County Police Department Headquarters, and at South River High School. From 9 to noon, it is the Anne Arundel County Police Department's Shredathon. I'm not sure that they call it a Shredathon, but they've got people there that are going to be able to shred up to four boxes or bags for you of any of your confidential documents. It is free. There is no cost. Head on down there. Be safe. Don't get your identity stolen. 
When you're done there, head on over to Maryland Hall and the Annapolis Symphony Orchestra. It is their annual family show. It is the Carnival of Animals with Bob Brown Puppets. And the Bob Brown Puppets bring their family-friendly show called Carnival of the Animals to the Annapolis Symphony Orchestra for one show only tomorrow at 2 p.m. Tickets are $15, and it is led by music director Jose Luis Novo, of course. The symphony will perform Aaron Copeland's Appalachian Spring and Camille St. Sands' Carnival of the Animals. Each animal tells a story with the help of the master puppeteers and a friendly narrator. Afterwards, families are able to meet the musicians and the puppeteers at an instrument petting zoo directly following the concert downstairs in the Bowen Theater at Maryland Hall. Kind of cool from Annapolis Symphony Orchestra, something for the whole family. Also tomorrow, Puddles and Paddles at the Annapolis Maritime Museum and Park. And I can't get enough of what goes on at the Annapolis Maritime Museum and Park. They're great there. Always got a ton of great things going on. This one gets underway at 11 a.m., goes till 3 p.m. It's a family program. It is free. It's hosted by the education team at the park. They will have live music by Guava Jelly. And and you can learn and have fun with all sorts of water-type sports kayaking and seining, environmental mosaic project, animal encounters by scales and tails. They'll have an inflatable obstacle course and many STEM-related experiences and demos. There will be a food truck on site for lunch, or you can bring a picnic. Again, it is free. And this is happening at their campus off of Edgewood Road at the Ellen O. Moyer Nature Park. Also happening tomorrow, it is the grueling race, the one that everybody dreads year after year, the one that people train months for. It is the MRE's .05K Bridge Run. It gets underway at the crack of noon as everything happens in Annapolis and Eastport. It is described as the least challenging athletic event ever conceived by Runner's World magazine. The .05K Extreme Sports Event is a grueling test of mental and physical toughness. Some competitors have taken as long as five minutes to complete the course that begins on the Annapolis side of the Spa Creek Bridge and ends on the Eastport side of the Spa Creek Bridge. It all goes for charity. Registration does begin at 10.30 a.m. on the Eastport side. It is $20 to run in this event, and you do get a t-shirt. Always a lot of fun at the .05K race. Sliding into Sunday, Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all you moms out there and all you people that stand in for moms. Why not take mom to a free outdoor movie? What a great movie. It is The Sound of Music, and it is going to be hosted outside at the 1747 Pub at Reynolds Tavern. It gets underway at about 8 p.m. That's sort of iffy, depending on how dark it is at that time. It is free. They will have a happy hour from 3 to 7, and the full restaurant menu will be available during the screening. And this is something they're doing every Sunday evening. Take mom. It'll be a good one. And if mom's into a little bit of bouncing, uh, this is kind of cool. It's not right here in Annapolis. It's over in Fort Washington at the Maryland's Rosecroft Raceway. And it is happening this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It is the world's largest bounce house. It's part of the Big Bounce America 2019 tour. It will not only feature a record-breaking bounce house, which has been seen in the Guinness Book of World Records, but also two brand new attractions, a 900-foot obstacle course called the Giant and Airspace, which is a space-themed wonderland. Now, the bounce house does include a basketball court, a giant slide, a ball pit, a DJ is in there to provide appropriate soundtrack for the event. It is designed for all ages and there are some adult-only times as well. Tickets for the event start at 16 bucks. You can find out more information about them all at BigBounceAmerica.com. It'll be a lot of fun going out there. All right, that is about it for the weekend. Whatever you do, please do it safely. We want to see you here on Monday. And again, to all you mothers, happy Mother's Day. There is a diamond of diamonds. It's from De Beers. Only 14 diamond tears in the world can touch them. Its name, Forevermark. And Zachary's is the only jeweler in the Annapolis area that has it. Not only is it beautiful and rare, it has a story, supporting women in diamond-producing areas around the world. So when you give a Forevermark diamond, you don't just give, you give back. Zachary's and Forevermark, a jeweler and a jewel. Online at Zachary'sJewelers.com. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis. And also tell them about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find even more information. This podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 7 a.m., keeping you informed with the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. And take a moment to listen to our other podcast, The Maryland Crabs, released every Thursday at noon.